know, I, I was real honored a few weeks back to have Mr. Orson Welles as my guest. And that night, Orson recited something from Shakespeare, and I never saw so much mail. Yeah, a, a lot of you folks wrote in to tell us how much you enjoyed Orson, and I agree with you. So tonight, I've asked Orson to repeat it all for you and for me. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Orson Welles. Dean asked me if I do a little Shakespeare. I decided to do something from The Merchant of Venice. You know, Shakespeare said about everything that needs to be said on every subject, and I, I think on the matter of bigotry, nobody has ever spoken out as well as he did 300 years ago, so I'm going to do a short scene from The Merchant of Venice. You must imagine that I'm Shylock, an old Jewish moneylender who lives in the Jewish ghetto of Venice, hated by the Christians, and he is approached by his old enemy, the merchant Antonio wants to borrow 3,000 ducats. 3,000 ducats? It's a good round sum. Three months from 12, and let me see the rate. Signor Antonio, many a time and oft, on the Rialto, you have rated me about my monies and my usances. Still have I borne it with a patient shrug for sufferance. It's the badge of all our tribe. You call me misbeliever, cutthroat dog, and spit upon my Jewish gabardine, and all for the use of that which is my own. Well, then it now appears you need my help. You come to me and you say, Shylock, we would have one is. You say so. You that did void your room upon my beard and foot me as you would spurn a stranger cur over your threshold. Money's is your suit. What should I say to you? Should I not say, what a dog, money's? Is it possible a cur can lend 3,000 ducats? Or should I bend low and in a bondsman's key? With bated breath and whispering humbleness, say this, fair sir, you spit upon me when's the last. You spurned me such a day. Another time you called me dog. And for these courtesies are lengthy, thus much money's. Yet I'd be friends with you. And have your love, forget the shames that you have stained me with, and take no doit of usance for my monies. This is kind I offer. Go with me to a notary, seal me there. Your single bond, I will go purse the ducat straight, and so farewell, Signor Antonio. Farewell. How like a fawning publican he looks. He hath disgraced me and hindered me half a million. Laughed at my losses, mocked at my gains, scorned my nation, thwarted my bargains, cooled my friends, heated mine enemies, and what's his reason? I am a Jew, hath not a Jew eyes, hath not a Jew Hands, organs, dimensions, senses, affections, passions, fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapons, subject to the same diseases, heated by the same means, warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as a Christian is. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, Shall we not revenge? If we are like you and the rest, we will resemble you in that. If a Jew wrong a Christian, what is his humility? Revenge. If a Christian wrong a Jew, what should his sufferance be by Christian example? Why revenge? The villainy you teach me 
I will execute. And it shall go hard. But I will better the instruction. 